I'm still not over it. Yep, that's me. Hello and welcome back to the vlog. This is actually my first video post filming the engagement one. So thank you all for all of the really sweet comments. It has made my life, I'm so happy. But because I am not doing vlogmas, RIP to the nose job vlogmas, I thought I would do some holiday kind of vlog and I have some stuff to do this week. So I thought it'd be fun to bring you along. First things first, I'm very late in the game to actually like fully decorating. So so we're going to decorate the tree. Some other things I need to do. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I was doing so good. The last time I did the organizing cleaning videos in my room, I had kept it up and I was doing so solid. And then I had a couple of chaotic events which have just left this a complete and total mess. When I'm getting ready to go somewhere, even if I have all the time in the world to get ready, it's a tornado because I have no concept of time and I have horrible, horrible time management skills, time blindness. And so I think that everything is simultaneously not a rush and the biggest rush of my life. So I'm throwing things all over the place to do things as quickly as possible. But at the same time, I'm like, I can have time to try on every shirt in my closet to decide what I'm going to wear, but I do not have enough time to hang them back up. Like, okay. I've talked about this before, but I got LASIK. I desperately need to get LASIK again. But something that happens with LASIK, it's a side effect a lot, but it also can happen if you don't have LASIK. And it happened to me before getting LASIK, which is why I wasn't too concerned. But you get halos. Or I'll insert like a picture from Google of what they look like. It makes every light that you look at kind of like psychedelic and trippy. So when I look at the Christmas tree from like any distance that's not here, but from far away, I feel like I'm on drugs. It's like a similar feeling to watching the movie The Holiday. Are you looking at my non-existent butt? Where I look like a turtle standing on its back legs? the doctor's office. My skin has like a little bit of redness at the injection sites. I don't know if I've explained it on YouTube here before, but I've got TMJ and I hold a lot of tension in my jaw. I'm not a doctor or scientist. I'm just reiterating what I know of it is Botox relaxes the muscles. This is your master muscle and it's a very large muscle. And if you are someone who holds a lot of tension there, you clench your jaw a lot, you have TMJ. I mean, they can get bigger. Like these muscles, like I don't know if you can see how much my fingers are moving. They just can like build up and get really tense. And so when you get the injections in them, it just relaxes them. It doesn't make you not able to use them at all. Just for me, what it helps with is my jaw overextends every single day, all the time. And I have to really consciously to try not to let it get there, but there is no like physical indicator that, oh, you're about to overextend your jaw. It's just kind of the range of motion. But this just makes me way more aware of my jaw. It takes out seven days, like a week or so to kick in for me personally. So right now when I open my jaw, it's like, I mean, you can see it's all kinds of wacky. But when I have the Botox, once I instinctively will kind of go to clench my jaw, it's like your grip is not that great. Like it just doesn't do it. And I would have to consciously be like, bite down really hard, which I can still do. But again, it's like the subconscious part of it. It's like lifting up a really heavy, heavy, heavy weight versus like a much lighter weight. So the Botox kind of makes it feel like a heavier weight that you're like, oh, I might throw my back out doing this. Like, let me stop. In the next vlog or the vlog after that, whenever it's been a week and it's kicked in, I will give you an update and show you what it looks like then when I open my jaw. But instead of going like all the way out, usually what will happen and what's happened, cause I've done this so many times, like twice a year for the last, I don't know, four years, three years? I don't know, a while. It will just go to like, and then if I want to open it even more, it's just a little bit harder. <laughs> also did some baby Botox in the forehead. Not going overkill, still gonna be able to make expressions, still gonna be able to react to things because I don't want that frozen look of the face at all. The best part about him is he's like so 
<laughs> only time being conservative is a good thing. He's so conservative with this versus like a lot of doctors you can go to, plastic surgeons and aesthetic injectors. We'll just look at your face and make you need this, 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 and this, and this is everything that's wrong with you. And you will bring a picture from Instagram and they'll be like, sure, let's do all of these procedures. Like he's one of being like, no, you're fine. We're gonna go way more conservative and like way less. And then if you want more, he was like, I'm not putting more Botox in your forehead. I mean, if you watched my Olivia vlogs, you know, he brought her to this world. So if you are in the Los Angeles area, I recommend him to everybody. He's fantastic. I will have his information listed down below. And also I'm going to be doing my first laser in the new year. He like gave me this pamphlet and he was like, like, let me know if this is something that you think you'd be into. Like, I really think that you would like this and I think it would work really well for your skin. I do have discoloration and texture in that. And he was like, this is like a really, really great one. And I'm, I'm excited to try my first laser. But yeah, that's what I did today. I will check back in with you when there is something interesting to report. I wanted to make a box full of snacks to leave outside of our door for all the delivery workers. Cause like we all talk about relaxing this time of year and spending time with like the people we're close to and look at me using jerky as a baton. And I think we're kind of quick to forget about the people who literally can't do that this time of year and their job ramps up and it gets even more and more busy and we rely on them, you know? It's starting to rain. Oh no, they're under the overhang. It, what? It's 4.30. I'm just, I'm just in the dark now? I can't. It's been a couple of days since I last vlogged and I thought I would catch you up. Got my nails done. So cute, right? They're Gel X and I really like them. They're kind of like Santa hatty. My best friend Sydney is also in town for a couple of days, which is really exciting. So I saw her this morning and then I'm gonna hang out with her again tomorrow because our fiancés, how weird is that? We both have fiancés. That's crazy. They're gonna go golf together. Bros being bros. I did a little bit of shopping in preparation for us going to Colorado over the last couple weeks and everything's finally arrived. So I thought I would show you it all. Let's also take the Adderall that does absolutely nothing. But on the off chance it does something, I need to take it. Cause if I don't take it, I feel worse. But when I take it, is this cute? The first thing I got is actually the only thing I got from Black Friday sales. And they are these boots, they are Bellini boots, they're the, uh, I don't exactly remember what they are, but they're like a very, very high shaft white cowboy boot. And I've really been wanting a pair, ow, hit my nose. I've really been wanting a pair of cowboy boots, but I also really wanted a pair of like white or cream boots. So two birds, one stone, pew pew. It's kind of a messed up saying, you know? Like a little bit, right? I wanted to pick up a new sweater for Colorado just because most of the ones I have have, I don't know, they're very loose knit, lots of holes in them. And it's very, very cold because we're going to the mountains. So I picked up this one, houndstooth, really thick, really heavy, very cute. Then I picked up a new beanie. Okay, you know, not with my hair like this. And the reason I went to Zara is because I wanted to get a new outfit for Matza's work holiday party, which everyone was vaxxed and boosted and tested for. It is so cute. It's this little romper. The bottom is velvet sequins. I mean like velvet with sequins on top. And then this top part is this giant satin bow and it has these straps that go around your neck. I love this. Oh, I forgot. I wore it with something else. One sec. I lied, it's downstairs and I do not feel like getting it. But I also got a headband from Nordstrom to wear with it, which I thought was really cute. I took some TikToks in the outfit, like showing the outfit, so I will include those here. And then I went to Nordstrom, I got a Hanukkah gift for one of my friends, and I got this beanie. It's the Madewell, I think it's Madewell. Yeah, and then I also got tights from Nordstrom, which ripped on the car ride over to the party, so. That was fun. But those tights ripping did inspire this purchase. These are sheer techs. I have seen a bunch of ads for these everywhere, but I wasn't sure how good they were because they are expensive. These ones were on sale as like, I got two basically for the price of one or maybe even a little less than the typical price of one, but they're like $100 tights. But apparently they don't rip. Like they're just really, really, really strong. So I got these semi-opaque tights in black and then I got the sheer ones in black. I'm really excited about the sheer ones because that is one that feels impossible to have sheer tights that won't rip. I don't know, I guess we'll see. I will keep you updated. And then they also sent this, what is this? 
Oh, some socks. That was nice of them. Great segues in this video because next up is also socks, which were also recommended. These are the, what's it called? Darn Tough socks. Everybody recommended these to me when I was talking about trying to find some warm socks for Colorado. These are thick. They feel nice. They were expensive, which is why I only got one pair. They were like $26 for a pair of socks. Speaking of cold feet, <laughs> I finally got a pair of winter boots. They are the Sorel. They are the Sorel Winter Carnival boot. The temperature rating for these are up to negative 25 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 32 degrees Celsius. And the last thing I got is from Aritzia. I had really, really, really wanted the Molina pant. Aritzia sizing is always a little odd and it's not cheap. And so I wanted to go in store. So I went in store, went shopping with my friend Mary Lisa. Oh, fun, I'll show you this. We went to Barnes and Noble, which is like the first time I've been to a bookstore since my book came out. So we went to go see if they had my book. And keep watching. Oh ma'am, what is that? Oh, just You're Not Special by Megan Ranks. What a nice book. Are you in it? I'm in it a little bit. Are you gonna reveal your pseudonym? Nope. But anyways, I wanted to try things on in Aritzia, so we went there and I tried the Melina pants on. They did not look good on me. So I found these ones, which I really liked, but I had to order them online because they obviously didn't have the size. And these are the new Rebels in Cognac. And these ones have like a seam detailing. I will actually try these on. See, I'm not trying anything on this video except for these. But these are them. Yes, my butt is flatter than a turtle standing up on its back legs. This is the regular length. Can you see? So they hit kind of just like right at my ankle. Sydney also gave me my Christmas present this morning. How cute. She got me three different little ring holder things. She says that she has these in like different rooms in the house. So you just drop your ring on there. She got me two gray ones and a white one. And finally, she got me this ring cleaner. This is like a pen that you use and it has like a brush so you can clean all underneath. My gift for her for Hanukkah still hasn't arrived yet, but I did tell her what it is so I can also tell you. But I ordered both of us the Taylor Swift red cardigans, which I'm so excited about because I was devastated and so pissed at myself that I didn't end up getting a folklore one. So I'm very excited about getting the red one. I've been doing some work and it's now 3.13. I have a doctor's appointment today at 4.45. If you haven't seen my last video where I talk about going to an endometriosis specialist, I'm basically just gonna kind of pick up off of that like last conversation. So if you wanna catch up, go watch that. I will link that down below. Today is the day of my pelvic ultrasound, the interior ultrasound, AKA, <laughs> I'm just gonna, it's like a, a long, girthy wand that has a camera on the end of it that they pop on it like a kebab. <laughs> I've had one before, A, had no issues with it, was totally fine, but I am now like four and a half months into this birth control, maybe five. I My math is not a strong suit. And while for like last month it felt like the constant spotting had plateaued, within the last two weeks, it has gotten a lot worse. <laughs> Doesn't really feel much like spotting. Not that I ever really did. Like when I described it to like my doctor and I was like saying spotting and she was like, well, that's definitely a little heavier than like what most people would call spotting. All of that being said, I feel a little bit bad that I have to get this ultrasound done when I am spotting. Like to the level where it's kind of just like a end of a period. Like it's like pretty constant. <laughs> and I know that they deal with this all the time, but I just like, I don't wanna look when they take it out. It's just, I don't wanna think about that. I'm not ovulating, so it's not like new blood. Do you know what I mean? Like it's old and I'm just like, damn, are you not done? How much more is there? Didn't get many clips inside because she was too busy sticking something inside me. Yeah, it was more uncomfortable than I remember. <laughs> The ultrasound tech was so nice though. Young woman, love that. The thing that I noticed that was so, sorry, I wake up with hiccups every day. Hank Green, what's that about? <laughs> but something that I noticed that didn't happen the first time I had an interior pelvic <laughs> vaginal ultrasound done before she, you know, inserted it, kebobbed me and turned me into a popsicle. She looked me straight in the eye and was like, do I have your consent to insert this? And I was like, yes. And she was like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah, thank you. Thank you for asking like that. 
My other one did not. And it was also a woman, but she just was like, okay, it's gonna be a little cold and, and you're like, Ugh. She can't tell me if there's anything like abnormal that they see on the ultrasound because they have to wait for my doctor her to do that but it's also unlikely that she's gonna see anything she said unless it's like absolutely like massive growth she probably won't see it and i don't think that i have any massive growth because the last time i had one they didn't see anything but the size of endometriosis growth does not dictate like how much it hurts like microscopic endo can hurt more than really 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 big endo if only like 40 minutes of just some directions it's fine, but some of them, it was like my eyes were watering. That's probably gonna be the end of the vlog. I'm assuming this is coming out pretty close to Christmas. So Merry Christmas to those of you who celebrate. I will see you all next time. Goodbye. It's so pretty.